now we've got a clean fishing area right over there to uh that looks pretty presentable this is the just in case setup that's the pisifun alios with an old 18 hollow point medium right there it's casting it's got a fast action tip we'll definitely throw this guy in the event that my unorth i guess it would be yeah unorthodox creation of a setup that i put together this morning I want a spinning rod for this Luz right here. It's a 4000 Custom Pro. And I had it on my jetty rod, but that was designed for slinging spoons. This is a jigging rod right here, but it's stout enough to be able to zip something out there. I just don't know how far, so we're going to give that a good go. Where's your line headed, son? Pretty maybe Straight. Not the best, but that's just because I don't have the leverage and backbone of the other setup that Christian is using. But it'll work. Oh man, I thought I wasn't even recording. <laughs> I just sat down, y'all, and I was like, yeah, so uh, let's just do a little bit of what we did yesterday. Sit down right here. Uh oh, look at my rod. Something moved. Maybe it's the little bitty swells that are coming and it just kind of moved the tip of my rod a little bit. It's pretty dang exciting, y'all. All right, here we go. 47 seconds into the video and I've already got to give y'all an update. The rain is coming down. I'm going to put the jacket on and this camera is obviously going to go inside the truck because you can't. Uh, ruin the mic or the camera itself it's not waterproof with the microphone on it so I'm gonna leave y'all right here I'll leave it filming so I can just run and grab it or actually no that's a waste of battery doing our 30 minute update y'all I did see my setup the rod tip bend a little bit my guess is bait fish it wasn't anything that a uh, black drum would do because when they take it those guys ain't gonna play around it's like i know what i want they eat it they take off the rod bends crazy so you just steadily apply that tension because of the circle hook so what i'm gonna do is put the hat on we'll reel this thing in see if our crab is still there yeah still got the crab but boy oh boy did they tear it up though they actually they completely tore apart that carcass all we've got is nothing but shell oh great the shell then came off well they're gonna have a field day with this that's why your crabs have got to be fresh you can still catch them like this with like fresh dead and frozen but it's best to use fresh crabs because they stay intact a lot longer especially if you're gonna cut them in half I've got a video where I did it at the Galveston Causeway and I was still able to catch a uh, black drum off of a fresh dead crab. It's just, they disintegrate a lot faster though. They're gonna, all the bait fish down there is gonna tear this up really fast. Would love to get a little bit more leverage on this thing, but beggars can't be choosers. You can feel it. You feel the wind picking up? Yeah. The pressure's dropping. Oh yeah, something's something's playing with mine again. And it would make sense because with the pressure dropping, They're it puts the fit yeah, it puts the fish in a more willing to feed mood. Oh, look, son. No, that's something. Look, you see? I mean, he took he took it down. It wasn't a peck. He just, like, literally grabbed it, and then the rod bent down. Yeah, he's... I think he's got it. Yeah, that's what I want to see. I want to see it like to really start to bend before I actually try to apply tension. 
I don't know because it doesn't really look like he's I mean you can you can pick it up don't do what I did pick it up hold it try not to let tension off and when you feel him just just hold it whenever you feel them like kind of taking it just slowly start reeling in tent for tension and maybe he's got it in his mouth yeah. I'm gonna reel mine in because I don't think I have uh, bait on it anymore Wait a minute, no, there it goes. No, no. It's way too, like the tension that we got loaded up on this, they're not gonna be able to do that. All right, I'm gonna have no choice but to reel it in and see if I still got bait. Got everything out of it, like literally. I don't know, I don't understand how he did that. He took, he took everything out of it. It's crazy. Like, how could he do that without without us seeing like so much tension where he could get hooked? Every one of these little compartments is busted open and he took all the meat out. Y'all, this is my uh, update, probably the final one. We got one crab left. I'm about to cut it in half, and then we're gonna reel both rods in and put fresh bait on it. Watch the, <laughs> we're gonna watch the tips do that number because all the little bait fish are chowing down, and then there's gotta be a hard head down there that has just enough bottom end to kind of like put some tension on the rods to make them actually bend because it's not going to be a black drum those guys when they get a hold of it i mean they play for keeps and as we stare at these rods the entire time i think i'm going cross-eyed let's uh let's cut this thing in half and we'll go throw away our trash and then we'll you know put some what do you call it some better bait on none of them are getting bit this is a buttload of fishing. I don't know how people just come out here with so many setups. It's like, my chances are good. What do you do though when the bite turns on and all? Yeah, all what, what do you do? I mean, I would think the same I mean, thing. I get it, like, because there's a part of a portion of me that thinks like, yeah, sure, you know, may, your odds are a lot better. But another part of me that, like, I don't know, just from fishing so much is like, if the bite is on, it's on. Yeah. And like, they're gonna bite. If they're not biting, they're not biting. So I, I really don't. Like on surface level, just taking a quick glance at it, yeah. I mean, we do take a lot of rods with us sometimes, like four they're on the skiff. They're not but all there. But it's one being used at a time. Yeah. It's not like we're dual wielding and just like, wham. Because to me, when the bite turns on. Yeah, that's gonna, that's sure. irresponsible. All right, y'all, that's gonna be it for fishing we're gonna do a drive all the way out to magnolia to go pick up some rods for jetty season y'all know that's about to start up so we got to get this spinning reel and the uh, stella a rod to uh, be able to use when we go out there to the jetty so that is it no black drum they had our number today that's gonna do it for today's video everyone thank you so much for watching this episode was filmed on the 16th and it is now the 19th we did get wet on our first episode there at the dike and I have come down with a sinus cold so hopefully there's not gonna be a lapse in footage for the videos but in the event that there is just know it's that I'm trying to get myself back to good health so with proper rest, I do think that I'll be back out there on the water in no time. Thank you again so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to click that thumbs up button. And until next time, tight lines, y'all.